In this video, I'm going to show you how to build this exact automation step by step that allows you to keep record of all your business expenses automatically. The way it works is whenever you have a business expense, for instance, you have a business lunch at the end, you just snap a picture with your phone of the business receipt, you email it to a specific email address, which is that step right here. And then this step is going to go over all the attachment. This step is going to process the image and uh, read every information from the receipt. This one is just going to format everything properly. This one is going to upload the receipt the picture from the Google folder. So it's archived. And this one, we're going to add a record into a spreadsheet from all those details that this step has been reading from the image. So when the tax season come, you don't have to scramble and find out all your receipts and everything. Everything is properly stored and ready to go for your bookkeeper or accountant when the time comes. But before we get into it, my name is Kevin and my school community and my YouTube channel, we are about three things. We are about not doing the boring and repetitive tasks, but also saving time using automations and AI. And lastly, we are about making it easy and simple so you don't have to worry about tech because in my community, I'm the software engineer with 15 years of experience, so you don't have to be one. Now, this automation is going to be pretty straightforward as I'm going to show you exactly step by step how to build it. But if you want to fast track the process, you can find inside my community the one click import blueprint with many others that I've built so far. Now let's get back into building this automation. So we are going to start with a new scenario inside make.com. And the first step is that webhook that's going to be listening to a specific email address. And we're going to search for webhook. And it's not going to be the typical webhook. It's going to be the mail hook, this one. So we're going to select this one. What I like to do is first rename the automation. And I'm going to name it the receipt analyzer just so I can copy that name and create the webhook, name it the same way so that I can match the webhook with the which automation it belongs to. And I'm going to save it right here. Now we have an email address. We're going to test that out right now to make sure that it works. And the way we do that is we open a new email like this, and we're going to copy this address to the clipboard, paste it right here. And we're going to say, this is a test. Hello from make, whatever. All right, let me move that out of the way. Let me click OK right here. And now I'm going to run this module. So now it's waiting for that email. I'm going to bring it back and send it. So it's going to take a few seconds. It's going to take a bit of time, just like regular emails do when they travel the world to get to the other side, to the recipient. So we're going to see shortly that it's there. There you go. So we can see that the subject is, this is a text. Test. The text is actually hello from make and the attachments. This is what we're going to check in the next steps, just because this is where the actual receipt that we're going to start having, that we're going to have snapped the picture of with is going to be attached. So let's get on to the next step. So the attachment is actually a list of attachments. So because you can send multiple attachments inside one email, we're going to just go over that list. And for that, we use an iterator. So we're going to select that attachment, which is this. So now if we send three receipts inside one email, the automation is going to work and process them one by one with the rest of the flow. I'm going to click OK. Now we're going to go to the next step, which is going to be the chat GPT step that's going to analyze the image itself. And this step is named Analyze Images with Vision. Obviously, if you haven't created a connection to chat GPT, feel free to do so by clicking here and connecting to, to your account. The prompt, so I'm going to copy paste the prompt that I have prepared right here i'm going to paste it and i think i spotted the typo right here okay. no it's actually okay all right so i'm already telling the prompt to generate a json as the output but it's not perfect so we're going to add an extra step at the end we're going to use a uh, chat gpt for o and the image 
we're going to select not the URL. When we click on, we're going to do image file. And this is going to automatically present us with that flow control iterator because remember, we are going over each attachment, which is expected to be a file. So this is the one that's selected, which is what we need. So now that we have the prompt, we have the model selected. Max token 300 is pretty fine for what we are doing here. And just a quick word on the prompt. It's asking to analyze the picture, providing what's the date, what's the name of the place, the expense, the category of expense. And after that, I'm providing a list of category that I wanted to choose from, which is right here. And also the subtotal, the tax and the total, which is all the fields that we have in this spreadsheet. So right here, I'm asking also to format that as a JSON output, but it's not perfect all the time. And ChatGPT sometimes adds some stuff. So we're going to add an extra step right there to make sure the format is processed properly. So we're going to click OK. And now I'm going to add that extra step, which is transform text to a structured data. And I'm going to select ChatGPT for O. The text to parse is going to be the result from this. The prompt is going to be, I also have one prepared, which is not very, doesn't have to be fancy because it's just mostly formatting. And because we've pre-formatted most everything into a JSON, it should be very straightforward for this step to interpret the values. So this is what I wrote. You will be provided with a, almost a JSON structure clean it up to reflect the proper output. But what's important then is to create the data structure itself. And we need to create the date as the parameter name. That's what we expect. I'm just putting the same thing in the description. The data type for the, for the date is going to be text. And we don't need what's next. Then the next information or the next field is going to be the place or the location calling that the place, which is also a text. Then we're going to add a data definition number three. It's going to load. And this one is going to be the category, if I remember properly. Yes. There you go. Category. Category. And it's a text as well. Then we're going to go to data definition number four. And this one is going to be the subtotal. This is a number. Then number five is going to be the tax. And the data type is going to be a number as well. And the last one, add the def data definition. Number six is going to be the total itself. And that's the last one. Total, description, total, data type is oh, not a text. It's a number. And now we can click OK. The structure doesn't have to be more complicated than that. Let's open this one. There's probably nothing wrong with this. I just need to click OK again and it disappears. All right, let's auto align that. Now, the next step is the Google Drive. We're going to upload that image, the receipt, into a Google Drive folder. So I'm searching for Google Drive and I'm going to say upload a file. Now I'm selecting, it's already selected because it knows that's the file. We There's only one file in the process right now and that's the one, so it's selected. I'm just gonna select which folder I wanna put it in. So I'm gonna browse, it's in my automation test folder. Then I'm moving down to a folder that I've called vision and that's there. I'm gonna click okay. I need to reopen that. It says there's two issues, but if I just click okay again, it's gone. I don't know why make sometimes does that. And the last step is going to be to create, not to create, but to add a row into a spreadsheet that we've already configured. So the spreadsheet is right here, it contains the columns that are essentially the same as the one we just configured, date, category, place, subtotal, text, total, and an extra one, which is the receipt link, which is the link to the Google Drive where that picture is going to be stored. So coming back to this, I'm just going to select the link. I mean, select that spreadsheet that I just showed you, which is in the same folder inside vision. Let me search vision. There you go. And just OK. Oh, 
that's the folder. So if I search it, the receipt analyzer, that's the spreadsheet. Now it's going to open. The, there's only one sheet which is called receipts and the table container header. There's the header at the top. Now we can connect everything. So we have the date, we have the category, we have the place, we have the subtotal, we have the tax, and we have the total right here. And now for the receipt link, I'm going to go to Google Drive. I'm going to scroll down slightly and there's a couple there. What's this one? I don't like that here. Oh yeah, right here. It's the web view link. That's the one we need to put in the receipt link. Not the web content, but the web view link. It's this one. Now we set and click OK. And we should be good to go. So I can save it. I'm going to realign it. All right. Let me copy again that email, click OK, email address, sorry. I'm going to create a new message. One thing is I'm going to show you the receipt that I'm going to be using for test. This is the one. It's at Mox's. This is a restaurant. And this is the subtotal 7575, 379, 7954. So I'm going to use this one as a test. I'm going to just put it here. I'm going to paste that email address. And we don't need to put any subject. That's, that doesn't really matter. So before I send it, I'm going to run the automation. Let's run it. All right, it's waiting. Just to show you that there's nothing there right now. Now I'm going to come on here. I'm going to send that email with that receipt. Send anyway. There's no subject, but that's OK. All right, it was just received. It's starting to be processed with ChatGPT. Structure. Upload file and route a row inside this. So now that we see that, if I reopen my receipt right here, we can compare data. So it's Moxie's test kitchen at Chonesi. That's the one. Uh, the category, it's not there, but it's in my meals and entertainment category. The date is the 25th of Feb in 2023. That's correct. And the price is subtotal is 75.75, tax 3.79, and the total is 79.54. So process the data is correct. And now if I just open this, I mean, we can already see in the preview that it's been uploaded, uh, but I know it's in that drive. See, it just appeared right now. And now if I open it, this is that receipt that was processed. So again, if you want to get access to all the templates you saw today and join a community where you can get all your tech questions answered, or you can jump into calls and talk to me on a daily basis, then jump into the Afford Free Time community. There is a course about make.com and how to get started and a bunch of other cool templates like the ones you saw in the video today. I hope to see you there. And either way, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.